Uh, I work at Google. I'm from Spain. I came here for grad school to Albuquerque, New Mexico, and I graduated there with archives. I also work in the Los Alamos National Lab, it's also in New Mexico. Lately I've been working on trying to develop quantum computers and that's where I'm working. There is a hardware group and a theory group and I work on the theory group and I'm a theorist. What's in my suitcase? So I have three kids and sometimes when I travel I buy small presents for my kids. So I have a, I'm in New Orleans right now, that's in the March meeting. So I got this for my daughter, she's uh, 15, so I hope she likes it. And then I have a seven-year-old, so he might like this turtle. And I also have for my son, he's 15 years old, he likes animals. So I think he's gonna like this cockatrial head. So I tend to carry books when I travel because that's the time where I have, I have time to read books like in planes and things, and I normally carry at least one book for work, so I'm learning more about microwave engineering, which is very important to design superconducting qubits. And this is a book for pleasure in Spanish, it's about the Spanish Civil War in 1939, and I think it's very important to learn from histories, and there are some interesting things that were happening in the 40s about polarization in society in Spain and things like that. Interesting to read about now. <laughs> oh, that's at Psi. I'm a quantum physicist. <laughs> so, so in quantum, Psi is the Greek letter we normally use for what is called a wave function. So, in quantum mechanics, um, everything is a wave function, including the universe. So, there should be a Psi that, according to quantum mechanics, if you take it to the scale of the universe, the Soviet side that describes the whole universe, for instance. Uh, I was not a physicist when I was growing up, but, but I, was, um, I was kind of nerdy, yeah. <laughs> so I did computer engineering first, so I always have been interested in computers, right, as you can tell. <laughs> and information technology, computer science in general, I think is fascinating. And then I did mathematics, uh, which is also very important for quantum physics and science in general, and I did philosophy. And I guess quantum physics and quantum computing has a little bit of everything. It certainly has a lot of computer science and computing engineering. You do need a lot of math to try to develop, uh, well, the theories that we need to get things to work out. And it does have a certain amount of philosophy, like how can a, a switch be both up and down at the same time, right? We don't see that normally. So it's kind of hard to wrap your head around and I think Philosophy helps to open your mind to <laughs> new possibilities, how to think about the world. Well, we're trying to make quantum not only at the hardware level, but at the software level, and we think we can make uh, computers that will be more powerful for certain things than the computers we have now. We're particularly interested in applications to artificial intelligence, so it can make the life of everybody easier. Pursue your dreams, and you know, even if you don't know physicists around you, uh, you can do it, and it's a lot of fun.